In today's video, we're gonna learn how to track our periods, interpret our cycle length, predict the date of ovulation, and calculate our fertile window. I'm Taylor, a physician assistant working in OBGYN, and my goal is to educate you on everything related to women's health. So day one of your period is the first day that you have any vaginal bleeding. And on average, most people bleed for about five days. So it's easiest to calculate this on, or track this down on a calendar. So we're gonna use April as an example. So if you started bleeding on April 1st, that was day one of bleeding, that's considered day one of your period. So on the calendar on April 1st, you're gonna write period starting or day one of your period. And then you're gonna calculate how many days you're bleeding for. So if we saw the average person bleeds for about five days, that would mean on April 5th is when you stopped bleeding. So you're gonna put period end. So your period length is gonna be how many days you've bled for out of the month. So for this example, your period length is five days. Now we have to calculate our cycle length. So your cycle length is the time between day one of your period to the next start of your period. So for an average person, they get a period every 28 days. So your cycle length is gonna be 28 days long. So if we go back to our calendar, we're gonna have period starts on April 1st, period ends on April 5th, and you're going to predict your next period to start on April 28th, which would give you a 28 day cycle length. So now that we've learned to track our periods and interpret our cycle length, we can now go ahead and predict when we ovulate. For most people who have a normal and predictable cycle each month, you can typically predict ovulation to be 14 days before the start of your next period. So if we're gonna still use this example of April 1st being day one of our period, April 5th being the end of our period, and April 28th being the predicted start of our next period, we can go ahead and subtract 14 days from April 28th, and that's gonna give you April 14th. So you can go ahead and put a little star on your calendar on April 14th and say, predicted date of ovulation. If you're finding today's video helpful so far, make sure to go and download my free period tracking guide with the link in the pinned comment or the video description. So now that we've learned to track our periods, interpret our cycle length, and predict the date of ovulation, we can now go ahead and calculate our fertile window. Now for most people who have a normal and predictable cycle, your fertile window is about seven days out of the month. It's about five days leading up to the date of ovulation, the day you ovulate, and the day after you ovulate. So if we go back to our April example, if we predicted ovulation to be on April 14th, your fertile window starts five days before that, the 14th and the next day. So your fertile window is gonna be between April 9th to April 15th. So you can go back on your calendar and you can write little arrows on those days or little hearts or whatever you wanna to do to indicate that that's what's gonna be your fertile window. The reason that your fertile window is about seven days is because sperm can live in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. However, once you ovulate and you release an egg, that egg only has a lifespan of about 12 to 24 hours. If that egg is not fertilized within the 12 to 24 hour window, that egg will die off and your body will start to plan for your next period. Now this is really important to know if you are actively trying to conceive because the best chance of getting pregnant is if you have intercourse five days leading up to the day you ovulate, the day you ovulate, and then the day after you ovulate. Once you get past that fertile window, your chances of conceiving drastically decrease each month. On the flip side, if you're trying not to conceive and you're not using some formal form of birth control, that week or that fertile window week would be when you would wanna avoid having intercourse with your partner to then decrease your chance of pregnancy. So whatever your goals are that month, whether you're trying to get pregnant or trying to avoid pregnancy, it's so important to know your body understand how to track your cycles, and understand how to accurately predict your fertile window. So if you've done all the things that we talked about in today's video and you're still having a hard time trying to track your cycles because they're irregular and unpredictable, this may be a symptom of PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. You can learn more about it in this video here. 